Welcome back to the Ultra Chen TV show. I'm James Chen. Sitting along me is... Sit, the, uh, sitting, sitting along me. me. You're a bench now, huh? Yeah. Got I just, it. I just, sitting just along. Nice. <laughs> sitting alongside by... Anyways, right next to me is Tasty Steve. And across the table there is the uh, white man replacement for David and Pasty Steve. Yeah, we got these guys um, lined up in the closet doing yeah, crazy. Yeah, exactly. Pretty much. Take the sheet off of them. Yeah. Bam. Ready to work. I mean, you don't have to bake them that long because they're so they're so light, right? This so is you true. know, <laughs> weighs no more than a phone book. It's crazy. Anyways, <laughs> let's move on here. Let's get into some game news here. Uh, and I'm going to be good about trying to like update this. There we go. Okay. Uh, game news. Game news. Game news. Game news. Game news. Game news. Where am I? Where am I? Uh, okay. Where are you? Uh, King of Fighters 14 rolling along. Apparently they're going to have a new playable build that they're going to show up with 36 playable characters on May 28th at, uh, I don't know, is this going to be the one that's going to be in common? No, it's only going to be in Japan. Mm. So in Japan there's going to be a build with 36 characters. I wonder how many uh, characters are going to be at the combo breaker one. I don't know. Maybe, well, I can't say for sure, but I was figuring whatever was maybe at Stunfest. Uh, maybe a similar yeah, build to that. True. And then really this true. will be like the debut of the new build. Right, at, right. And, but, um, I mean, I don't know, for sure. But they just released a trailer for uh, Team Yagami. Uh, actually, it's not even a trailer, because remember how they did character reveals before? Yeah. Now they're just showing team clips. Yeah. So they showed one for the original Japan team, and now they showed one with, for Team Yagami with Mature and Vice. The game yeah, has well. too many cool characters, man. Like, I want to play with so many of the characters. It kind of like it drives me crazy. I just want Nakaruru to be super broken, so it's like CVS one style again. Why do you want that? <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. I just want it to be broken. Just so people can suffer the same bitterness that we suffered during CVS one. That's that's pretty hateful. That's James. Yeah, I was like, that's 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 pretty that's kind of messed up, James. Actually, you know, well, Nakaruru was unlocked. In the first Southern Hills Golf Land tournament, I would have won that tournament. I would have beat hey, Alex Vine. Hey, dude. watch the watch the finger. Okay? <laughs> I would have I got He's second good, place wow. in that tournament. I'm gonna need you to turn down the thuggery, James. <laughs> Yo, your thuggery is on like ten right now. I'm gonna need you at like a two, please. Hey, James. What's how about that? Sabretooth in X Men vs. Street Fighter? How's that going? Sabretooth. Your favorite. Your favorite character. Sabretooth is a piece of, and I really hate <laughs> the fact that he. He is such a f So that's what I think of Saber, Saber, Saber Tooth in that game. Okay. So. But, but, yeah. I mean, but I mean, not like, you know, you could play four ratio ones in CBS 1 too. That was also pretty good. Hey, you know what? That's how I got to second place at that tournament. I was the only person who did that. I was the one who made that popular at Southern Hills Golf Land. You can blame me for that shit, dude. I kind of do now. <laughs> I kind of do now. That, that was really annoying. That but yeah, I think it's going to be sick that, uh, that we're going to get all these chances to play the game. Just like, oh, yeah. you know, what they're doing with Tekken. We're getting to play the game. Even though it's not out yet, but they're having these exhibitions and turn sometimes even tournaments. So I think it's going to be really cool. Dude, I love the way that the, the companies are interacting with the players these days. Yeah. Like, I love what Tekken's done. Like, we can't play Tekken 7, so they bring Tekken 7 everywhere so that we can actually try it. Harada even did the public beta testing locations, yeah. you know? It's like, it's just really nice that all these companies are really interactive. Killer Instinct, obviously. Uh, Nether Realms with Mortal Kombat as well. So, I, I really very like Very hands-on in the scene. Very hands-on. I like the new trend. Um, speaking of MK, have you gotten a chance to mess with Gargos yet? K.I., you mean? K.I. Yeah. I didn't get a chance. <laughs> I like how you just stare at it like... <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. Um, I didn't get a chance to play Gargos, but I did watch the uh, Iron Galaxy stream mm, and okay, Keats. Okay. The Tender Moments stream? Yeah, like it was Keats. And That's what they call him. I don't know. Really? Is what they called him? Yeah. Okay. But uh, apparently, like, Gargos is sick. Has a burst for instinct. Also has minions, and like one minion comes out with like a pitchfork, and you have to hit it twice to kill it. Mm -hmm. So it legit has its own animations. Like, oh, you hit me, but that's okay. I can hit you back. And he then looks. It has, he looks kind of ridiculous. He and like the thing is about it. Like now, I've had my my 
questions about like the Caleb. I mean, about the Caleb, but about the Ki. You cannot talk, call this game by the right name. Um, I got it right. Uh, <laughs> That's why we have you here. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've had my gripes with some of the the guest characters, but this character coming back makes Ki that much more authentic. I thought what was really cool is when I, I didn't get to see the whole stream. I only got to watch part of it, but the fact that he towers over Jago, I thought was really oh, cool that he's actually like a different size. Oh, sort yeah, of, no, no. He's sort like of a reminded legit me of, uh, <laughs> in Children of the Atom, Sentinel. Oh, Sentinel yeah, 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 So much like bigger uh, than everyone else. Uh, 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 and yeah, you were just yeah. like, that's really cool that they did that. Dude, Have Sentinel you seen his like combos? Like, his combos legit are like him like slamming you on the ground. Yeah. Like flying around like, uh, 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 like, oh my God, it's so sick. All right, all right. I, you know what? I, I know... Uh, Sejam got early access to Gargos, streamed a little bit of Gargos uh, this past weekend. I, 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 I'm supposed to have access to Gargos, but I just haven't had a chance to stream or anything like that. So, And I also didn't have my Xbox One joystick until today. So. Yeah, man. I don't know whose fault that was. I know, right? Oh, God. Anyways. Yeah, but uh, hopefully I'll try to mess with him. I, want, I need to mess with a lot of He's the really cool. He's really, really, really cool. So, um... Uh, but yeah, okay, so definitely uh, he's going to be coming out pretty soon, so check him out, and you guys can, I think uh, we have it here on our archives, that you can check yeah. out CJ, I'm messing with him on Old Yeah, Gen it should be on the archives, as well as you can check out uh, the Iron Galaxy archive. Mm -hmm. And uh, just like I said last time, that upcoming patch that came out for the Smash Brothers Wii U, is definitely just them... Nerfing Bayonetta into the ground. <laughs> Did you just try to pull a CJM segue? No. No, just me talking. I, uh -huh. yeah. He's 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 got like a he's got this thing. He's trying to take over the the segways from Sejam. But Sejam is legit. He like practices those in the mirror. He's like doing push ups and it's like cards in front of him, pulling them out. He's really good. Speaking of push ups, I looked in the mirror. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Smash Brothers Wii U patch came out and pretty much it seems like all it did was nerf Bayonetta because uh, Bayonetta was dead, like. People were crying about this character a lot, a lot, a lot. She's a lot, pretty a lot, stupid. A lot. So, yeah. But um, I, I'm interested to see how that's gonna affect the character if she's gonna still. Cause like I saw some people talking about the nerfs and they were actually impressed with it. Like it was done in a way that wasn't like just completely destroy her as a character. That she's still viable. But mm. I'm curious to see how the tournament results are gonna change a little. Yeah. Because I mean, Bayonetta wasn't winning every tournament. She was placing high and she was winning some. But it's not like she was just like blowing everybody up, like like a Tarkatan alien or something like that. I'm gonna check it out uh, when I come back from Combo Breaker, or maybe like while I'm on the plane. I really want to look into it. Okay. okay. Uh, also, uh, so Pokin, I guess Mewtwo is just a problem in this game. So they. I mean, a, he is a legendary Pokemon. He's. <laughs> they, they, is this he, really your excuse? There were a lot of legendary. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's one of the few in the game, so. I mean, you got me he had um, an infinite block string at one point that was patched out, but apparently people have found now that in the phase, in the field phase, they found an, an infinite. Like, hey guys, just a, just a regular infinite. So. I know about this. Do you know? Do you know about? I it? knew about this. I knew about this before they did this, but I wasn't playing the game enough to for it to make it. You didn't difference. tell anybody about it. You didn't tell anybody. I didn't want to be that guy. You held on to that. I mean, they fixed it now. They could have. They could have named the combo the Tasty Steve. He was saving it for nationals. Uh, I was definitely saving it. For yeah, right. Like Steve with the switching from Blaziken to Mewtwo. <laughs> what the hell is going? Oh my God, he's broken the game. It's too late, Nintendo. It's too late. Too late. Too late. Oh, anyway, I don't know why I just that. <laughs> Team Ninjas, uh, Yosuke Hayashi hints that there's a big surprise coming down for Dead or Alive Five. So this is another announcement of an announcement. Nobody knows what the heck is going on. There's announcements no of announcements, announcements, right there. The thing is, yeah. like they, uh, the last character they revealed was... Uh, it was like a Samurai Warriors character or something like that, right? Really? I thought it was like the boss, like the robot boss from DOA 1. Uh, Unless I could be off. I could be off a character. They too. did release, like, it was a guest character. It was like from Samurai Warriors or Oh, something. well, you might be more up to date than me, but yeah. And they love those alternate characters. Costumes. I wouldn't be surprised if this was just an alternate costume patch. <laughs> I mean, Probably. To be completely honest, isn't that what everybody wanted for the old DOA games anyway? I think that's sick. Personally. I'm pretty, I'm pretty cool with it. Anyways. As long as the costumes don't like 
go completely crazy that you have no idea who the character is. I mean, I know you both of you guys come from Tekken background, but like that always bothered me about Tekken because I was never familiar enough with the game that I could recognize people off of stances and moves. Oh, you would have hated BF in the arcade. I was, yeah, yeah say, uh -huh. and that, I, that's I hated where, the same thing about BF. Too. That's where yeah, the customizations uh -huh. came from. Yeah. They right. came directly from Virtual. So like Shun had like there was like young young Shun, and I like couldn't recognize him yeah. and everything. The VF customization system was way more advanced mm -hmm. than Tekken's was. Yeah, it was just ridiculous. Yeah, and I was always like, I'm really glad that you know. The Street Fighter cost, and then they came out with some. Of yeah, all the wacky yeah. costumes uh, in four. I just yeah, legitimately like, don't like the alternate that. costumes for Street Fighter characters. I don't know why. I, I just they just never. They, you know, in four they were too loud in most cases. Mm -hmm. Like they it were, there was no like subtlety about mm -hmm. them, mm -hmm. where it was just like, oh, this is kind of just like a different view of this. It's like, here's Blanca dressed up as. A scientist on an African safari. Like, what? <laughs> dude, he was a Final Fantasy summon monster. Yeah. He had the wings. Oh, dude. Yeah. yeah. dude. I wanted to, like, do, like, boost, like, Guardian Force, Guardian Force boosting. You're just going to hit match select eight. for a while? Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, so, I, I mean, uh, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of crazy costumes, but, I mean, I understand why, I understand why they have it, so... Uh, but that's all I have for game news, and I really don't have much for community news either, but it's kind of a big one, and I think it's a really important one. Oh, wait, wait, before, before wait, did we... Did we mention this last week already, though? I think we might have I mentioned it. I think we did talk about think, this. Did one. we? Mewtwo King getting signed by Echo Fox. I can't remember. Because I remember I made the joke that I'm pretty sure Rick Fox is Actually, not going to steal his money. Oh, his yeah, that's true. Money. I, I think thought you did that on Twitter. I did do that on okay, Twitter. Okay, okay. But I repeat jokes on the Ultra Chen show. Oh, okay. <laughs> some people don't follow me on Twitter, and I can't let that humor... Go, go unheard this is true. for the people on the stream that don't actually follow me on Twitter. Oh, so I have okay. to make sure... But yeah, they're telling us that we did. Yes, you did. Okay. 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 I, I did want to make one other note about news really quick, which is Last Blade 2 is now on uh, PSN. PSN. Oh, really? With Netplay, actually. Really? Yeah. 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 I'm Ooh. definitely going to... I'm, I'm so, probably going to buy it on my I phone. have not heard how the Netplay is yet, okay. but... I thought that was really cool that they were, you know, basically, they were doing the whole upgrade of the graphics and everything, just, you know, just to make it look a little bit nicer, and then they were adding that play. So I think okay, that cool. came out today, or... Another thing... That's the one that has Habiki in it, right? That's where yeah. Habiki comes from, right? Okay, okay. Another thing is that today released a story mode screenshot oh. for Guilty Gear. Yeah. Revelator right. in the story mode, and they had Robokai in what I speculate is Biking. Yeah, it looks like it a, looks like bike. It looks like a different kind of, but it looks. It's no, like, it's it's basically she's got the patch and to the, cover the pink her eye. Hair. She has the scar. She has the pink hair. Yeah, like uh, that's that's definitely biking. Like I saw that and I was like, that's a hundred percent biking. That's why I said it when I was like, that's biking. Yeah. Free. I think that's sick. I I know that biking is a very divisive character. I hate like, that character. Like you either love that character or you hate, I that, hate character. that character. Yeah. Because biking was really good I against hate that. that character. Uh, people well, people just hate the fact that. You don't. You have to play bike in the game. You there's, always. There's Guard never a situation in that game where you're playing your you're, own game. You're always having to play around the potentiality of guard cancels, mm -hmm. and a lot of people are really scared about guard cancel YRC and like oh, how damn. how broken that could be. Ooh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, so, exactly. Right. You were too happy, caught up in the happiness, and Dude, you didn't I'm realize how you, game breaking look, it would be. You you don't understand. I loved biking in. Guilty Gear because I got so bodied by Rushdown, like I would fight Eddie and just get trapped in the corner and die. So Viking was just like a godsend for me. So I was able to actually like fight those characters because I could just alpha counter everything. And I think it's gonna be so really I, sick. I, I, I because, like Viking because uh, I'm a scrub. I think it's gonna be really sick because it. that character is definitely gonna. I admit it. <laughs> I'm, oh, anyways, go ahead. Hope somebody just loops that. I know, right? <laughs> Somebody please loop that. Um, I think if she plays anything like she does in her old games, in the old games, mm -hmm. it's definitely going to kill a lot of characters in XR. It's going to destroy, like, it's legitimately going to stop we're, a lot of characters. We're going to see. I, I'll, I'm interested just because we're not going to get her before we get Dizzy. And to me, mm -hmm. Dizzy will be the barometer. How much really? are they willing to change characters right, right. for the system? I mean, because the funny thing is, you're I mean, talking about you're talking about how like the I said that character is going to be a problem. 
Dude, I, I said know, they were going to nerf It's so her. funny. It's so funny because like the reason why I'm bringing this up is because like biking, like you said, like cancel YRC and all of a sudden I can do whatever the hell I want, right? Sounds super broken. So you're like, oh, they'll probably change it a little bit. I thought the exact same thing about Johnny because I was like, there's no way they're going to let you do missed YRC. Yeah, yeah, he said that too, actually. And and it's like worse than it's ever been before because you can combo a coin off well, of everything. Because yeah, I was just sitting there, I was like, missed. Baka Sidewire C is going to be a problem, and I don't understand how this character... Now, what's funny is that Johnny basically got better. They didn't actually even change him. His good normals stayed good, and his, his normals that... His normals are still and yeah, good. And his normals that got changed are actually better. Meanwhile... Way better. Meanwhile, Jam's parry got completely changed. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah. Which is something that I think people should look at when you're talking about something like bike and guard cancels. Mm -hmm. The fact that Jam's parry and how it works basically got changed into, well, it's not what you think it is. It's something completely different now. Mm -hmm. I think it's the fact yeah. that it's a new game. It's more of a new game than people actually think it is. The fact that even though Johnny is pretty stupid, they changed a bunch of his inputs to make you play that character. And Johnny plays different now. He's not like... I can wait a second. He's legit like, he's like plus R, Johnny. He's always hitting buttons. He's always doing something. Dude, everything leads into a coin. He coins yeah. in the middle of all this. He gets of two OTG. off most. Yeah. Actually. Like two OTG coins. Like why? I mean, before, like when he hit you in the corner, it ended with the, uh, with the uh, Nsenga. Nsenga, yeah. Like if you didn't do the one hit Nsenga, even if you did do the one hit Nsenga, you couldn't recoin them. Well, yeah. But in no. this game, it's like everything leads into a recoin. I was just like, what are you doing? Like, why would you let this happen? Cause now, now it just feels like you're coined all the time, right? I mean, on the same, like I said, we we can talk about this another time. But, yeah. but the the important thing to note is that these characters are only appearing in story mode for now. Yes. However, yes. and that's along with Zappa, who they have shown appears mm -hmm, in story mm -hmm, mode. Mm -hmm. Now, that doesn't mean anything, but every previously playable Guilty Gear character that has shown in story mode. Has so far, right. has ended up in the game. Yeah. So um, far. Yeah. With Dizzy coming out. Right? Exactly. With Dizzy being announced already. I mean, personally, I just really hope Zappa never shows up because I hate that character so much. And I. <laughs> I mean, Zappa would be awesome to put in the Guilty Gear exit. Right next to me. In my <laughs> own home. I mean, I don't live here. But I thought we were friends. <laughs> oh, man. But no, no, no. I mean, yeah. Hopefully, I mean that's like I thought. I thought Robokai was like a fantasy thing. Like he wasn't no. even really part. No, of he's the always story. been part of the story. Oh, okay, it's okay. just I, when this game was coming out, when and Sign was coming out, I said three characters I didn't think they would bring back were mm -hmm. Order Soul, Robokai, and Abba. Mm -hmm, and I assumed right. that Justice and Cliff were already not. Gonna yeah, be yeah, because they're supposed to be dead, right? Right. So, so the fact that Robokai is showing up to me means all bets are off. That they don't, they're just like, yep, we're just gonna pull whoever. I think it would be sick if Abba came back. I think she would be really cool in this system. Yeah. And what's crazy is it's as as far out as the the Guilty Gear engine goes with each individual character. The fact that they're adding these new characters with these new mechanics like Jacko and and Sin and mm -hmm. and like Elfell with the with their stances and whatnot. Like the fact that they're adding them and they're still pretty cohesive in, in the overall scheme of the game makes me even more excited because I want to see how the other characters interact with it. And I've never really felt that way about a game or its characters where I'm like, I just want to see how their character interacts with Testament. What if, you know, uh, like, think about it. Like, stuff like that. Oh, Testament versus, like, Raven. Tell me that it's not God. Like, no, like, no, awesome. no so matter Raven would be a sick match. Yeah, just, just to have those characters fighting each other. So, yeah, and... and sure. Like I said, and that goes kind of into the aesthetic of the game as well. It's not just the gameplay mechanics. It's the way it looks is affected It's as well. the most beautiful fighting game out there besides Tekken 7 right Exactly, now, exactly. Honestly. And they're sort of opposite ends of the spectrum because yeah. Guilty Gear is more in that old 2D sprite into a cartoon, mm -hmm. whereas Tekken 7 is trying to Be br more realistic. bridge, yeah, bridge yeah. that realism uh -huh. gap. Yeah, but I mean, those are the two paths. Like, I've always said, like, as the graphics improve, it needs to get... Smarter, not not like more realistic. Yeah, that's, which yeah. is why guilty. That's why guilty. Yeah, which dude. Which is why like I'm still looking so forward to Cuphead. Like you do. Have you have you seen that game before? No. Dude, have you heard of this game before? I've heard of this game. Dude, it's just basically like a contra shooter, but done in like '20s Disney animation style. Weird. Like look it's it up. Beautiful. Look it up it's, on YouTube. It's look it up beautiful. on YouTube. But it's not out yet, is it? 
No, it's not out yet. Okay, because I, I, I didn't know. No, that, no, no, no. I know it's exactly out, what I'm, game I'm, I'm, it I'm is. I'm going to play that. I'm going to play that. And I've that seen it, game, so. and it's beautiful, but yeah. they don't have a date. I thought it was like a... It, what, was it's it, a, a, it was. I think it might be delayed or something like that at this point in time. But yeah, it's, okay. it's such a great... It's, it's a cool looking game. Let's so. Check it out. I think you would really like it, actually. Well, that's all I have for today. Okay. Um, well, I have nothing else unless... Mr. Super Effects would like to touch on something. Thank you, sir. I do want to touch on one last thing. Paul, a.k.a. Super Effects, follow him on Twitter at S-O-U-P-E-R-F-X. Because somebody is squatting on the actual Super FX name. It has <laughs> been for years, and I'm still mad about Named it. Named yourself after the, the, the Super Nintendo chip, right? Yeah. That's so cool. That's so cool. But um, SDR cast with Hell Pockets, Lord Walkman, Manchas, Sanchez, and, and Sanchez. Manchas. Manchester. I just, just called him Manchester. Manchester. You know what? I think, he'll, I think he'll be That's fine what he with said. it. That's what he said. Manchester and Sanchez. Okay, okay. I think they'll be cool with it. Okay, okay. Every Monday night at 6.30. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. Pacific Standard Time until 8 o'clock on Team Spooky. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, so definitely. I mean, I'm hoping everybody here follows Team Spooky already. So I hope you guys get the notification. Check it out. They get to go into a lot more things in a lot more colorful language and more passionately. Actually, I don't know if we can get more passionate than Mr. Steve here, but especially if we're talking about Civil War. So, so sick. You see the pose? Yeah, so I put him in the helicopter pose. In the helicopter pose. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, yeah. but Dan's now you did. Dan's yep, the, now I did. Dan's in the helicopter pose. You know, look, he's looking at his arm. Yeah, I made him look at his arm. Anyways, yeah. anyways, anyways. Well, I believe that is all <laughs> from Time to go. Ultra Chin TV. It's time to go. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We hope you guys check out Combo Breaker. Check the archives. It'll be there. Yeah, go to combobreaker.org. You'll see all the information there with the streams. I mean, it's actually one of the well-done websites. Like, it's awesome, actually. Yeah, it's it's not very intuitive. Yes. You don't get lost. It's not over-stylized. And you can actually find the information. Yep. It's on there. So. It's always nice. Cool. All right. Well, see you guys next week. Peace. Peace.